Hey everybody, um, I know it's been a while since we've posted a video. Um, I had taken some video, but uh, we live in a wind tunnel and all of the audio that was on the video was just shot. So um, I wanted to give you a quick update on what I've been working on and uh, what uh, Mrs. Tilted Barn has been working on as well. Um, so one of the things is we've been working on the new disc mower. And one of the things that we've been doing is we got new uh, blades put on it. And we got, obviously, we got the tarp that came with it, put that on it. Um, we're getting pretty close to hay season. Talked to one of the neighbors. Um, and uh, we're thinking, depending on the weather, if the rain holds off, which we've had plenty of lately, but if it holds off, we might actually be uh, starting first cutting this weekend. Um, so we're pretty excited about that. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to go through a few more things on this, get it ready. Uh, we, like I said, we got all new blades put on it, got the tarp put on it. Um, I got everything adjusted. Um, so stuff like uh, like down here, um, the uh, the chains. Let's see if we can get it here. The chains here all these things need to be adjusted to fit the tractor and so that's one of the things that uh, that I've been working on was getting the tractor hooked up to it getting everything sized up so that everything matched up and that everything was balanced on the machine the hydraulics all worked um, you know the float cylinder that's on this um, was ready to go and that my tractor hydraulics were ready to go for it um, we even uh, even got the uh, we're able to get the um, stands put on the loader so that we could take the loader off and the advantage of doing that is that when you're when you're working in the field especially when you're working with hay um, and this equipment the fact that we got the disc mower because it allows us to get into some of these small spaces um, we wanted to make sure that we weren't being restricted and, and you can see how the loader on that sticks out so far uh, well it's, it's not got the bale spear on it now um, but you know it just it really does stick out there quite a ways and so we can actually pull this whole loader right off the tractor and the stands will hold it up and that'll allow us to just you know, A, it opens up our field of view so we can see everything out front better, but it also allows us to get a little bit closer to the fence rows and, um, you know, just it allows us a little better maneuverability through the field. So um, I guess if you want, ride along and um, I'm going to get this hooked up to the tractor so that uh, I can change out all the fluid and the cutter bar and in the gearbox. All right.
got to get the top link adjusted so it'll fit and then we'll pick it up and then we'll re-level it again. up to the three point I got it leveled close to level um, so now this whole thing right here this cutter bar is full of oil and so what I have to do is I have to tip it up so I can get it all to drain out the bottom and then I'll have to look at the manual but I believe this right here is the fill hole uh, so we'll find out and then uh, there's another gearbox that is underneath this and I'll have to flip it back down again to get at. But um, yeah, so that's it. All right, so I was digging around on this thing and I was looking for the, the fill hole on it um, to put the, the new oil in and also the drain hole. And uh, I found, I can't believe they did this. This is uh, another engineering marvel, but what I found was is inside here this is where the drain hole is and it takes a hex head to come out and this whole shoe is just packed full of mud and the last thing I want to do is get in there pull that out and get some sand or some grit in there to be splashing around and wearing down these parts prematurely so it looks like in order to really do this the right way, I've got to pull this shoe or this skid plate off so that I'm not getting any dirt or debris inside this thing. So you'll have to bear with me a little bit longer because it uh, looks like this turned into a bigger project than what I thought it was.
a little overkill with the breaker bar, but it was close. Go grab a rag and check it. Anybody else use old underwear for a shop rag? I washed it first. Yeah, it's real clean. All right, we're good. Put that back in. Might even run a test run. Um, <clears throat> thinking I might run a test run. Yeah, there we go. Out, uh, out here. So <clears throat> it's just old. Um, I don't know. We don't really even use it for pasture. Sometimes we do if it gets too tall. But um, you know, just make a swipe down and back and see how it goes and. Then I'll uh, disconnect this and go to work on the... Hey, Bob.